Merry Christmas, everybody. From our house to your house. It may be 80 degrees outside, but it is still Christmas inside. Hi, welcome to Amory's workshop. I have another Vlogmas um, uh, do, it do it yourself gift that's very inexpensive and very well loved. And currently I'm out of zippers, so I cannot finish my bag. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get started with more of this scrappy fabric. All right, so I cut a piece of scrappy fabric about 14 inches wide by 12 inches long. And I also cut an accompanying lining fabric that same amount. So the first thing I'm going to do is line them up and then I'm gonna use some of my scrappy bias tape left from another project and go all the way around the edge. This is such an easy project, so cheap, and everyone who receives one loves it. All right, I have stitched my bias tape in place all the way around the edge of this square, of this rectangle, with my scrappy fabric on one side and my lining fabric on the other side. So now this is just a matter of folding the bottom up to accommodate my brushes, my makeup brushes. I'm gonna go get one and see which one works the best. Now I'm gonna use some of my brushes to decide how deep I want my pocket to be. I want them to fit inside and not fall out, but I also want to maybe cover the heads. We'll see what is the best set. Once I've decided on that, which I think is about this, I'm gonna add the back ribbon. Okay, this, I've decided that this is the height that I want for my pocket, and I'm going to copy it to the other side. See how wide this is. All right, and I'm gonna pin it in place. Now, here's a choice. I'm gonna whip stitch along the edge of mine because I, from here to here, I'm gonna whip stitch the end closed. And then I'm going to put in my lines to fit my brushes. Once I know how deep I want my pocket, I'm going to place my ribbon. My, your ribbon should be about one, two times the distance of your pocket. Now remember, you can make this whatever size you want based on how many um, brushes you have. But this is a piece of my scrap ribbon, so I am going to cut it to fit my thing, to fit my case. And I want to attach this ribbon exactly. Find the halfway point on your ribbon. This is half. And this halfway point is going to be on the opposite side of your case. Pin it in place. And go about four inches why longer on the ribbon edge, about four inches, and you are going to attach this, and you could either do this by hand, oh, messed up my manicure, or you, you can tuck this by hand, or you can stitch it with the, on your machine with the coordinating thread.
Now, I am going to use the pattern on my scrappy um, fabric to uh, sew some stitching lines to fit my brushes in. Now, you can design your spaces no to, to fit whatever you need to put inside your carrying case. Okay, we are done. We can put our brushes in, fold over the top to keep our brushes safe, and roll up. I wish it was somewhere where I had more of my brushes to show you. And you can tie them up and put them in your case. And I think that is a wonderful gift to give someone. You can either give it to them without the brushes, custom make it to their brushes, or take yourself on to the dollar store or to any of the uh, Five Below's or discount stores and buy them a set of brushes and tuck them inside there. That could be a $5 gift. This is very, very affordable. And you can morph it to every different thing. It doesn't have to just be brushes. It could be other beauty implements. Well, happy Vlogmas. This craft took so very little scrap material. I can't even give an estimate of cost for this because it's leftover scrap. It's leftover ribbon. So if you were to buy these things, maybe a dollar or two, five dollars at the most and put, put some five dollar brushes in there. And that is a wonderful do it yourself gift. Uh, you use up some of your scrap, the person will be feel very special or you can make one for yourself. But this took approximately about 15, 20 minutes concentrated. The hardest part was putting the bias tape around the edge and you can buy package bias tape. So I think that this is a wonderful little do-it-yourself project for the holidays for any kind of gift. Happy Vlogmas!